sup? My name's Isaac, but for the purposes of this opening sketch in my video review of this 2021 Camaro 1SS, my name is gonna be Chaz. My parents named me that because Chad wasn't enough. They needed to go one step beyond. I'm here to represent the average owner of a Camaro. My father purchased this for me. He's in like br brokering or something. Is that like stocks? I don't know because I don't really see my dad a lot. I wish we had a relationship, but he kind of just buys me things and tries to vie for my affection. All I really want is some free time with my dad, dude. Can I ask for that, please? <laughs> Before we begin, I want to thank Brown Dob Chevy for allowing me to review this vehicle. For all your Chevy needs, you can visit Brown Dob right off of Nazareth Pike in Nazareth, Pennsylvania, or at their website, browndobchevy.com. Okay, back to my normal voice. That was a joke in the intro. I know a lot of loving, reputable people that have Camaros of this trim and many others. I just like to poke fun a little bit. Starting out here up front on this, I really like this design choice. I think it's incredibly aggressive and it's much better from the previously unveiled 2019 body style where they had the bow tie in the center right here. I couldn't figure out why I didn't like that style and I think that's why I didn't. I think the bow tie really belongs up at the top in line with the headlights. I think it really makes it look sleek here. You'll have full LED headlights on here and daytime running lights that are LEDs as well. Next to that bow tie, you'll also get the SS badge on the front grille. Moving underneath the hood in this Camaro, it is powered by General Motors 6.2 liter V8, making 455 horsepower and 455 pound-feet of torque. Man, this thing growls. Let's take an exhaust clip. <laughs> to the profile of this SS, starting with the wheels and tires, you'll have 245 40ZR Goodyear Eagle tires wrapped around these absolutely gorgeous 20 inch black matte finished wheels. I really like the black accents against this dark blue color all throughout the car. I think they make this one look particularly aggressive. You'll have your Camaro badge right here and your mirror. Your mirror is not anything super special here but there is a unique twist to it. Normally it would be mounted a little bit higher, but because of the driver's seating position, it actually has to be mounted further out so you can actually see the mirrors. Thus, this actually doesn't fold in. So it's kind of stationary to where it is. That's really unique. I don't see that a lot because I don't really drive a lot of these coupes or sports cars. You know, I've done a couple, I've done Mustangs. Uh, I did the Corvette, though I didn't drive that unfortunately. You know, but I, I'm, I'm kind of completing, uh, completing the circle. I recently did a Challenger. Now we have the Camaro and I've done a Mustang. I also did a Charger, but I feel like the Challenger is more in that muscle car coupe category. Moving back to the fuel cap door, this is something I never talk about. I would never talk about a fuel cap door on any other vehicle, but because this is a smaller car, I can get more intricate with the details. When I do a huge pickup truck, it's a lot harder for me to get to a lot of the finer things because it's such a big truck with so many features that I don't want the video to go for like 35 minutes. So I got to trim down stuff. But the benefit of doing these smaller cars is I can tell you more about some of these cool details. You get this carbon fiber look to the fuel cap. It says Camaro on it. And interestingly, this has a 19 gallon fuel tank. Normally cars in this category have somewhere between 12 and 15 gallons. So this guy has a huge tank, which is really nice. Let's move to the back. Moving to the rear of the SS, starting down here at the bottom, you'll have your full exhaust down here, your SS badge slightly above that. And then right above where your license plate would be, you have a backup camera very cleverly integrated into there. You'll have your black Chevrolet bow tie emblem your third brake light up here, as well as your tail lights. And then you do have this really nice wing that's included on the SS trims of the car. Then opening the trunk up here, you'll have 9.1 cubic feet of storage back here. Then you have your cute little grabber right here 
Uh, hopefully you'll never need to use that cute little grabber to open the trunk if somebody is stuck back here, but it is fairly spacious for how sporty this car is. You also do have the ability to fold the back seats down, so if you have a TV or golf clubs, you can fit those in there. So that is very nice. Let's move to the interior. Moving to the interior of this Camaro 1SS. Now the reason I keep saying 1SS is because there's also a 2SS available, which is a slightly higher trim. The only difference I could find between the two of them was the 2SS has a slightly upgraded interior with more bells and whistles, heated seats, stuff like that. While this 1SS has cloth and is a little bit lower with the interior um, features, though there's still a ton of features in here. From the exterior, I believe the 1 and the 2 are nearly identical. You're not really getting more with the 2SS than you are uh, with the 1. So I just wanted to throw that out there to mention that is why I keep calling that this. Um, turning on the vehicle right here, uh, I guess we're actually going to start at the door here. You'll have your really cool handle, lock, unlock. You have power one touch down and one touch up windows. And then you have your mirror controls. They are power mirrors, even though they are stationary uh, with placement, they are still powered. You have this really cool climate vent right here. And then moving into the gauge cluster, you have a gigantic screen, which is controlled by the buttons on the steering wheel right here. But you can control so many different things, um, your info, your audio, navigation, everything like that. And this is uh, General Motors' new screen, I believe. I don't believe I've reviewed a vehicle with this screen. Even the new, ah, the new Suburban I did might have had this screen. I can't remember. You still do get a traditional tack and speedometer in here. And then pulling out fully to the steering wheel, it is leather wrapped. Uh, still very comfortable, you know, for the one SS package. Um, and then you do have paddle shifters here for rev matching, your uh, wiper stock, your turn signal right there, and then your volume and your channels as well as your cruise control. You're also gonna have an SS badge down there. Now this is push button start, which is not interesting or unique. Um, what is interesting and unique about this is that it is a six speed manual transmission. So um, we don't get a lot of manuals anymore you don't see a lot of manual push buttons. So it's very interesting. All you have to do, have your uh, key in your pocket, uh, foot on the clutch and on the brake, and then that starts it. Um, as the manuals kind of have start to die out, it's very interesting um, to see what, what they're kind of bringing in with the new features while also kind of pushing out the old. So it's really interesting. You also uh, do get the SS emblem on there, which is really nice. Really like the shifter leather wrapped as well. Um, moving to the screen right here, it is angled down a little bit because uh, the seating position, I do want to mention the seating position, it's kind of interesting. I remember when these Camaros first came out, and as I've mentioned, this is my first time in one, uh, people talked about it not having great visibility. I was like, what do they mean by that? And they fixed it, but I still get what they mean because this is a tiny, tiny windshield. Like, there, it is very slanted. And um, we'll, when we get to the driving segment, we'll see, but I don't know visibility-wise how great this is gonna be um, long-term. But because of that too, the screen is angled kind of down, but I've moved the seat up to get better visibility, so I'm kind of touching down on the screen. Um, I wish it was just a little bit more flush, but it is still very responsive. GM has one of the best infotainment systems in the industry right now. Wi-Fi, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, built-in navigation, very, very quick, as you can see, very snappy and responsive to go into stuff. And then you'll have physical controls below that. And then you'll have your climate controls down here. One thing I really like, probably the coolest party trick of this interior, is you take your climate vent and you turn it and that adjusts your climate temperature, which is really just wonderful. Um, so cool. And um, then you'll have your defrosters here your hazards and moving past here you do have an electronic parking brake i kind of wish that it didn't have um the electronic uh parking brake i kind of wish for a traditional one that you would pull um it does seem to go automatically into park once you uh turn the vehicle off and like if you forget to pull this it seems to do that automatically um i'm just not 100 percent sure if i trust that uh, but you do have your mode selector here. Oh, let me turn the car back on. Turn it off, because I didn't think I'd need it.
But you do have uh, your mode selector button right here next to your big traction control. And if you touch this, you can go into sport, track, snow, ice, and tour. So that is really cool that you get the options there. You do have a 12 volt right there and two cup holders. And this is actually a little storage cubby right there, a little center armrest. Uh, overall, this interior is actually, now I'm gonna turn the car off, uh, very nice. I, I think the leather stitching on here is really high quality. Um, you do get a sunroof in this, which is really nice. I did not know that was an option on the One SS, but it is. And then um, you do get your controls for that. So you can open it up, which is, oh, so nice. And uh, really lets the light in here. And then you have LEDs in the dome lights. I mean, overall, it's very high quality. I mean, yes, the seats are cloth, but I mean, that's okay. I think the seating position overall is decent, but that's not really a fault of the trim of the car. I think that's more of like the design of how sleek it looks, but I really like this interior. Let's take it for a spin. Driving the SS here. Now this SS has magnetic ride control actually. So it uh, apparently reads the road at a thousand times per second and pings back like the best stability, especially for track performance in this car. Really opening it up here. Oh, it sounds beautiful. Oh my goodness. For, this is what I also really like about these new cars is they tell you what gear you're in on the screen because uh, I don't drive a ton of stick. Um, so it's really nice to know what gear I'm in uh, when it actually comes down to it. Really handles quite well and I am not an expert at driving manual transmissions um, but you know I'm learning and I, you know I'm passable at it I always like to joke that I'm good in a horror movie situation you know like when they're like quick we need to drive a stick car and I'm like I could do that I could definitely I could pass it doing that and so um, it's a lot of fun though and I really someday hope to get one uh, with a manual transmission that uh, I can zip around in, you know, maybe like an old Camaro or Mustang. Um, I guess this would be an old Camaro by the time that I have enough money to be able to afford that. So it's uh, it's cool, and I really like uh, I really like how this handles, especially on these kind of like long, windy roads and stuff. It's really nice. Um, so I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a POV uh, shot of me. Uh, driving this and then I think that's gonna wrap up our driving impressions so I don't know if you guys can tell by seeing through the camera here but yeah visibility is very tight like it's it's a very small windshield and so not exactly the best visibility but it's decent for for what you get and uh, I mean it's a nice handling ride I think it, overall it's it's pretty good here Thank you guys so much for watching. That is going to conclude my review of this Camaro SS. I hope you learned something new about the car or I hope I could at least make you smile or laugh with one of my jokes. I am a Christian, so if you have any prayer requests, you can leave those in the comment section below. I also like to do a weekly Bible verse. And as I've been doing this video, uh, as I've mentioned in the past, this is the entrance to the old Nazareth Speedway here in Nazareth, Pennsylvania, right next to Brown Dobb Chevy. And a maintenance guy has been going back and forth all day in between my takes of this video. And he stopped, you know, probably reasonably to ask why I have this Camaro parked in the middle of the road. And so we got talking and I found out he was also a Christian um, through bringing it up. And, and we had a really good theological discussion. And I know a lot of you guys aren't Christians and I know a lot of you don't like when I talk about Jesus, but since I'm going to study to be a youth pastor and that's part of who I am, and I believe that God blessed me with this channel, I like talking about him. And that's okay if you don't like that. And I'm sorry if people in your past have hurt you or tainted your perception of Jesus because he loves you no matter what. And I want everybody out there to know that. But the reason I want to do this specific Bible verse is I was reminded in talking to this gentleman that as Christians, we can go to anybody and bring up Jesus, whether it's the cashier at the checkout line or somebody on the street. And I was bold enough to bring it up with him and it was a really good conversation. So as Jesus calls us in Matthew 28, 19 through 20, this is commonly referred to as the Great Commission. Jesus is talking to his disciples, telling them 
where to go and what to do. He says, therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Verse 20, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope your vehicle lasts you a long time and it serves you well, no matter what vehicle you own, and I'll see you next time.